this one's for all you guys out there who are wondering or have ever wondered why you need to pay eight dollars a pop for foam safe CA. Uh, CA is the glue that we use to, well, the, one of the main glue that we use to to build foam airplanes and such. So if you've ever wondered why you need to buy the eight dollar little bottle of CA and you can't use regular CA which is like crazy glue here's why let's cut off a little piece of foam okay so we have more foam surface to work with I'm gonna take off the paper from one side and I'm gonna put it down like this all right little piece of foam here we have the foam safe foam compatible CA Let's see if I can focus down there okay here we have the regular CA some brand Dr. Bond or something it's super glue basically what we know as super glue or crazy glue that's regular CA this and this is almost the same but not quite all right, this stuff can go on foam. This stuff, not so much. All right, first off, we're gonna grab a little bit of foam compatible CA and just dab a tiny little bit. I'm almost running out. Okay, a tiny bit. I'm gonna dab it on the foam right there. Okay. All right, so that's that. Now, let's grab a little bit of the regular CA and put a similar size amount oh, right there on the foam. Right off the bat, you could see that the foam compatible CA is a little thicker. Uh, they make this they make the stuff um, thicker for us modelers so that it can get in the little nooks and crannies of the foam and stuff. So, I don't know if you could see the difference between the two. Probably not so much, but what's happening is the regular CA is kind of melting, dissolving, and eating away at the foam. Okay, let me see if I could get a better view of this. I'm gonna grab the same paper I took off. I'm gonna go ahead and push down on the C on the regular CA side, so you can see what happens when I push down. I'm like applying pressure. It eats it up even quicker so now we remove it and you can see what happened it just dissolved away the foam the regular CA as you can see it's still on there it's curing slowly like it should for a stronger bond and as you can see if I apply some pressure on it no damage is done to the foam at all so there you go if you're, if you're ever wondering why you're paying eight bucks for this crap, that's why. All right, so don't go cheap and buy the 99 cent two little bottles of this and think you're gonna get away with building a plane. You're not.